all of these large sets from the Pokemon TCG going to slowly erode the Pokemon fan base. Hello everybody, I'm Andy with Northwoods Collectors, and if you're new here, hit that subscribe, hit that notify, and hit the like guys, it does help us out a ton, and it doesn't cost you a thing. We do three videos a week that include marketing, investing, and just what's happening in the Pokemon TCG, and on every Sunday we do an opening of a Pokemon product. So if you are like that kind of stuff and you're into the Pokemon TCG, hit that subscribe, help us out a ton guys. Of course we've got that giveaway if you look at the video right up above me right here. We will uh, go over the details on the end of that video. Other than that, we're just going to go ahead and discuss why why is Pokemon continually giving English sets these gigantic numbers? On the eve of Fusion Strike, of course, as you're watching this, it's being released today. Why are there so many cards? There are a total of 284 cards in this set. Why are there 284 cards in a Pokemon set? If you go back to even base set, fossil, jungle, look at fossil, and it's 62 cards in the whole set. Base set back then was one of the larger ones with 102. You could complete the whole set in two to three booster boxes. Literally, jungle, we used to finish that in two boxes. Fossil, two boxes. Base set was two to three three at the most. I mean, that's when you were looking for one weird card that you somehow missed in the first two booster boxes. Guys, these sets were not hard to complete, and that's why we used to always collect these. Master sets were extremely easy and fun. You could have every card all the way through the set in a binder, and you can enjoy the set and collect that master set. Nowadays, you look at Danny Phantom, he opened 76 booster boxes of Chilling Rain and he's still missing 13 cards. How much money do we have to spend in order to fill this master set? It's crazy. Nobody's going to be doing master sets anymore. And that's actually a lot of enjoyment. I mean, you look up on the shelf right over here. Those are the beginnings of our master sets. And as they get full, we start moving them into the full binders or as we collect enough of them. Guys, it's not happening. We're just not filling these binders because there's so many to pull. You know, you, you go through it and you look and you and then on top of it we're getting hit by set after set after set. Could you imagine if every set you had to actually purchase a hundred booster boxes in order to complete that set to get that master set? What is that master set really valued at? I've been seeing some master sets now of Chilling Rain for sale for like four thousand dollars, and to me that's way underrated considering the amount of money you had to put into that. I would think that even if you got lucky and pulled it faster than Danny Phantom great, but what's the chances of you doing that? This is something that the Pokemon TCG really needs to look at and really get concerned about because what you're going to start to do is you're going to start to erode a part of collecting and as that erodes away, as people get tired of trying to complete these master sets, they're not going to come back to it unless they start really lowering that base. I don't know why we're seeing sets over 150 cards. Guys, 150 card sets even big. Japanese sets don't usually cross that 150 threshold, and yeah, they do more sets a year, but the other part of the, the Japanese set versus the English set is, the Japanese sets are tailored based on what the, the, what the set is for. So if you're into playing the TCG, which I like about Japanese sets, like battle sets, you had the rapid strike set and you had the single strike set. If I like single strike, I can just go buy that booster box. I can get single strike cards and not deal with rapid strike cards. If you're a term tournament player, that's fantastic. I can tailor my deck and spend less money, get what I want, or get the complete set extremely quickly because I'm dealing with this this one booster box. I'm not dealing with all this crap around it for battle stuff. If I wanted to go rapid strike, I'd have to dig through all this single strike stuff in order to get down to it. I think Pokemon needs to start taking maybe some lessons from their Japanese side and start doing these more tailored sets, smaller sets where they're 100 card sets to 150, no more than 150, and really refine down to where it makes it enjoyable to start doing this again. It's a part of Pokemon that we're going to lose. And to be honest with you, it's myself. I still try to. We try to. I try and show Jacob how to do it. But it's just so incredibly large that it's just not fun any longer to try and do that, nor is it cost-effective to do it. Granted, if you really wanted to complete this set, you could go ahead and go and pull or buy these cards 
from someone else who pulled them and finish these master sets. I don't like to do that. I like filling our sets up with cards we pull. It gives it a memory. It gives it some reason that you did it all the way back to when we did the original sets. You want to have that that nostalgia of pulling that card and how you pulled it and where you pulled it. Any card that we have right now in almost all these binders are all pulled. We remember how we did it. Even Jacob, when he looks at a card, we open him up and he goes, Oh, I remember pulling that when we did this, or I remember when we pulled that doing that. If you purchase it, you don't get that. And that's the thing, is that that's why I'm saying you're going to start losing this master set mentality because there's just too much. And if you start buying, a lot of people are going to lose interest in that monster set. So that's just one thing I wanted to really, really discuss with people. And, you know, I'm hoping that maybe more content creators, even some maybe some tournament players and things, can start voicing this opinion on some comments on their channels to really emphasize that these are becoming too large. That's not... Fusion Strike, I, I don't even know if I'm going to start a binder for it, guys. I... I to be honest, we'll probably hunt for some of the chase cards, of course, as we open products on Sunday, and just to get into the set so we can show it off and kind of look at some of the stuff and help you decide if the product is what you're looking for, or if it's something that's interesting or good value, but realistically, the set is just so large that I don't even think I'm going to try and organize a binder or do any of that. I'm just going to start putting cards in the, you know, just kind of the pull cards or chase cards we get, just put them away and maybe make a decision as things go on. Maybe as prices change and things go different in the market, we might look at it, but it's it's just getting to be that way with a lot of these sets, and it's really starting to affect the, I don't want to say it, the excitement of these sets is just, you look at them and you look at how many cards you gotta get, and you're just overwhelmed. They're just, they're just gigantic, and it's not anything that's fun. It's something that really should be looked at, and I definitely think that it should be reduced. We should be going down to, if you want to do these large numbers in a set, break them up in the multiple sets like the Japanese versions. Break them down into, like, Evolving Skies. You had, you know, in Japan, you had EV Heroes, you had Towering Perfection, and you had Blue Sky. There's three sets in Evolving Skies in Japan, and that's why Evolving Skies is so large, and they still cut 60 cards out of it in order to keep it down a little ways and if you would have just kept the three sets why not bring all three of those sets to the English version and then like myself if I'm an Eevee fan then I can go ahead and go for Eevee if you're a Rayquaza fan you can go for Blue Sky if you're the you know the other fans you can just go for the Towering Perfection or if you're tournament players you can specify on those sets so definitely something that you we should be looking at and really putting our voices out there for what we think is going really, really wrong right now with that part of it. So other than that, just a quick little note, we did have a nice good luck on a fourth pack of Evolving or a Fusion Strike. We ended up pulling this nice new two artwork. And since this is the eve of Fusion Strike, I am going to put it right now. Yep, I'm gonna put a little disclosure. These are three, these are a couple cards that I actually, we pulled from the set. And they're just common cards, a couple, one, a couple uncommons, but and one rare. But the artwork, guys, this set has actually got some very enjoyable artwork in it, which is different. It hasn't had actually a lot of the artwork has just been pretty bland, cut and paste, and this is actually fairly decent, nice looking artwork. So once again, a bonus for Fusion Strike. They actually have some really nice cards, and that's only out of four packs. We haven't opened a lot. Check out the short that we put on yesterday. If you really enjoy that, that's, and you can actually check out the pulls that we got. Other than that, guys, we're just going to go ahead and wrap it up. I hope you guys are having a great week. I hope you're having a great weekend plans. We're coming into that tomorrow. Other than that, if you're new here, be sure you hit that subscribe, hit that notify, and that like, guys. It really does help us out. It's free of charge. Other than that, if you do like this content, check out these two videos over here, and we'll see you next time here on Northwoods Collectors.